In the past, I used to think that I had freedom. You probably think the same thing. Oh, I'm not a slave. I'm free. We live in the land of the free if you live in the U.S. Many other people think that freedom comes from money. I used to think this in the past as well. I used to also think that freedom came from discipline. And in a way, all of these things are true. I guess physically I am free. Money in a way does create freedom. Discipline definitely does create freedom. But true freedom comes from the ability to control your thoughts and your emotions. And yeah, money can come from controlling your thoughts and emotions. Discipline comes from controlling your thoughts and emotions. But when you're able to think and feel the way that you want to think and feel, and you don't give this world power over your thoughts and emotions, this is when you truly are free. TV shows, they manipulate your thoughts and emotions. Movies, music, video games, certain people, certain institutions, they try to manipulate your thoughts and emotions. And if they aren't creating positive or loving or whatever kind of thoughts and emotions that you want to think and feel inside of you, then these things have a bit of control over you. You're playing the victim to your outer environment. You're playing the victim to your circumstances. And when you're able to just, like this comes with practice. This isn't easy to control your emotions, to control your thoughts. And this is why I stress meditation, visualization, affirmations, things that take that negative thought that you got from somewhere, from someone else, from school, wherever the fuck this negative thought came from. You're able to turn that into a positive thought, into a positive emotion, into feeling the way that you want to feel. And this is where true freedom comes from. If you aren't able to control your thoughts and emotions in this present moment, some things that you can do are sit in silence, observe your thoughts and emotions, meditate on your thoughts and emotions. Look at those thoughts, look at those emotions, look at that negative thought you're telling yourself, that anxiety, that stress, that worry about what's to come in the future and let it all go. These thoughts aren't here forever. These things come and go. Life is constantly changing. Our five senses are constantly changing. Our thoughts are constantly changing. Our emotions are constantly changing. They come and they go. But when we judge them, when we try to fight against them, when we say, this is a bad thought, I don't want to think this thought, or we don't even realize what we're thinking. We tend to attach to those thoughts and attach to those emotions. And then we think, I am this thought. I am this emotion. But you are not your thoughts. You are not your emotions. You are the observer of these things. And when you practice meditation, you can observe those things without judging them throughout the day. You see anxiety come up while you're taking a test. You let it pass. You can now work the best you've ever worked in your entire life. You feel stress come up when you're at work, you let that pass, and now you're on the fucking grind, you're in that flow state. This comes with practice, this comes with time, specifically practice of meditation, of letting go of your past thoughts, your past emotions, let it all go, and then practice visualization, affirmations, journaling as if you are your future self, gratitude, showing positivity, anything that can create that positive emotion within you, those positive thoughts within you. Again, all of these things take time. They take practice because yeah, you can do these things for 10 minutes throughout the day, but then every other second during the day, you're back into your negative thought pattern, your negative thought loop, your habitual way of thinking, feeling. And if you don't consciously try to practice this throughout your everyday life, Nothing's going to change. You need to practice meditation while your eyes are open. Feel that feeling you felt in your visualization while your eyes are open. And the more you do this, the better you'll get. And then this is where you'll truly be free.